For AwesomeWrestlingEntertainment.com, I'm Chris Graham. If you've been following us on Facebook, if you've been following us on the AWE website, you know why we're here. We're here to talk with Marvin Ward, AWE founder. Marvin has a message for fans. You said Ricky Morton. But the most important question we have, Marvin, is are you ready to tell us finally what happened? Everybody wants to know what happened. That's all I've heard for two weeks. Marvin, please tell us what happened. You know, Chris, there used to be a time in, in, in a man's life where his personal life was just that. He was personal. But now that you've got Facebook, you've got the, the Internet, you've got the message boards, your personal life don't mean anything anymore. You know, I decided I was going to walk away from everything that I have ever loved in this world. Just give it all up. And, you know, the more I kept watching that video of Ricky Morton saying, tell the truth, Marvin. Tell the world what really happened, Marvin. I made a decision that I ain't letting nobody run me from what I love. Nobody. And you know, Chris, nothing personal to you, nothing personal to the fans, but this message I have today is directed right at Ricky Morton. So you want me to tell the truth, Rick? Well, first thing, man, is when do I owe you anything? What, do you want to look like a 54-year-old badass in front of all your indie boys that mark out over you every weekend? Is that what it is? You know, maybe that ain't such a bad idea, Rick. Because God knows every big name in this business thinks you're washed up and broke. I mean, it's one thing that WWE don't want you. But damn, Rick, TNA don't even want your sorry ass. And you come out and you say that Marvin Ward's trying to fit himself into a category with the Rock and Roll Express? Really? If that's the case, Rick, what category are you trying to fit in now? But you're right, man. I have been lying to everybody. I've been lying to my friends. I've been lying to my fans. I've been lying to my wife, my kids. I've lied to everybody because I was embarrassed by what happened to me. But not anymore, Ricky Morton, because now I'm pissed off. You tell everybody you were trying to smarten me up? Really? Are you serious? Do you know what it's like to lay on the ground and wonder if you're going to live or you're going to die? Or to have your 16-year-old daughter holding your hand going, it's okay, Dad. It's going to be all right. Are you serious, Ricky? Do you know what family means? <laughs> but then again, wait a minute. We are talking about Ricky Morton. How would Ricky know what family means? This is a guy that's $70,000 behind in back child support. A guy that went to jail for what I believe they call a deadbeat father, right, Ricky Morton? Oh, yeah, you love your kids. Ricky Morton, father of the year. And that's a shoot, you smart ass. You know, while you're at it, Rick, why don't you go take another $50 booking somewhere? Or hell, while you're at it, double book yourself like you've screwed so many other promoters in this business. But it's okay, Rick. You're Ricky Morton, Rock and Roll Express. A 54-year-old man trying to squeeze his ass into a pair of spandex that he wore 30 years ago. Well, this is from me, Ricky Morton. You're a joke. At least when I wrestled as Doug Gibson, I had heart, which is more than I can say for you. So let me smarten you up, you bitch. My daddy always told me, you ever put a man down, you better make damn sure you put six feet of dirt on top of him because if not, that man's going to get back up. I'll see you, Ricky. Ricky.